Hey there YouTube, this is Pete Grizia. Um I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to draft um, an arena for Hearthstone. Uh, so, let's start, we're going to play some Priest. Um, basically, I'm going to talk about three main things in this video. The first is bread, the second is play style, and the third is synergy. Um, so, the f bread is an acronym for... Um, we'll get into that, but the first is B for bombs. So you really want cards that'll win you the game by themselves. And um, none of these cards really do that to me. I mean, this card is okay; that'll win you the game, but it requires that your opponents have cards, and I'm not really a fan of that in really more controlly decks. Um, any of these cards, but we're going to go with Madness anyway. Okay, so Light Spawn is an example of a mediocre bomb. Um, it's mediocre. Okay, so after B, have Removal. Um, removal is basically any card that will get rid of um, a creature your opponent controls. And so here we have some examples of some bombs. Um, we have all three of these guys are bombs, double the damage. I'm probably going to go with the Prophet here, but all these guys are bombs. All these guys will uh, win you the game by themselves. Um, after removal, we have Effective or Efficiency. So Light Spawn is an efficient creature because it's 4 mana for a 5-5. Five, five. You want cards that will give you their mana cost. Um, so like Light Spawn is a very very efficient card. It's a 5-5 five, five for 4 that you can potentially make a 10-10 ten, ten really really easily. Um, Yeti is a is an efficient card. It's a 4-5 four, for 4. I mean it's not amazing but it, it'll work. You know. Um, got a lot. Okay, and then after efficiency, we have card advantage. Um, so, this right here, this is a card advantage. This is card advantage. Um, this is especially important for Hearthstone. You really want card advantage. Um, just want cards that draw you more cards. You don't want to have a hand with two cards and only one creature on the board. You want a hand with eight cards and maybe three, four creatures on the board. That's what you really want. And so... Azur Drake is really, really good for that. He'll give you, uh, he'll draw you a card. Harvest Golem is another example. He gives you basically a 4-4 four, four for 3 mana, which is extremely effective. Um, yeah, he's really good. And then, last but not least, we have Dregs. So, Dregs are, you know, mediocre cards, but, you know, you gotta play with them. They're not, they're not awful. But they're not really playable. You won't really want to play them. Um, so like Iron Forge Rifleman. I mean this can be good. I mean it's relatively efficient. I would put this guy on the drags rather than efficient because you know one damage is okay but you get that out of a one for one one that deals one damage for the same same ability. Um, I'm gonna go with the Shangler One Tiger here. But that's an example of a drag. Um, Mind Vision can be okay. Okay, and so, um, yeah, now let's get into play style. Um, for most arena decks, you really, really want a good curve. Um, so you see here, I'm missing some six drops, so I really want to find some six drops in here. I'm going to pick up a mass to spell, though. Um, i still not finding very many six drops. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, play style, you really... You'll hear a lot of people tell you this, but you really have to find your own playstyle. Um, and the only way you can find your own playstyle is through practice. You just have to practice over and over and over again. Um, just practice. That's the one thing you just have to do to really just get a hold of the game and figure out what you're going to do. Um, I finally found a 6 round. This took a long time. Uh, this guy is really good with my light spawns, so I'm going to take that guy. Um, and the last thing is, 
Oh, well, actually, I'm going to expand on Curve. Uh, curve is really, really important because you want to be able to play a 1-drop, play a 2-drop, play a 3-drop, play a 4-drop, play a 5-drop, play a 6-drop. You want to go in that order. You want to be able to play that. And the way you get that is you have a nice, if you look down here, this will give you a nice curve. And also, if you're in-game, if you scroll, yeah. So you, you'll have this. Um, and when you're making an, a normal deck, you'll be able to scroll over this and you'll have basically this. Um, what you want is you really, most really good decks will have a nice a nice curve you'll see so like right now it's kinda like this that's mediocre curve like I, I could have had a better curve but what you really want is a nice round semicircle pretty much so in order for me to get that I need to get some more six drops and make this a little bit more curve like um, and that's just a good way to gauge um, how, how your deck is doing so Divine Spirit is really, really good with uh, my Light Spawners. Finally got some more 6 drops. Um, we can play this. Can play another one of those. Uh, I guess we can have 3. Um, yeah, and then Synergy. Synergy is the last thing I wanted to talk about here. Um, synergy is super, super important. You want all of your cards to play with each other. So you don't want um, a ton of spell damage when you're never going to deal damage to anybody at all. Um, oh my goodness. And then, like, yeah, synergy just, like, that's why mage is really good, because there's not really very much synergy that you need to have. Um, I mean, of course there's synergy, but you can always build a good mage deck without a ton of synergy. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, this deck didn't turn out amazing. It was alright. Yeah. Okay, so that's my deck. That's my tutorial on the arena um, or any form of draft mode in TCG. Just remember... Bread, B R E A D. Um, remember your play style, synergy, and most of all, the only way to get good at anything is to practice, practice, practice. Um, now, if you don't really have a lot of money in Hearthstone, you, you can always come to these sites. There's um, Hearthhead, uh, they have a really good one. Hearthpone has a really good um, arena practice. I like this one a little bit better. But yeah, so you've you've got tons of different places where you can practice doing arena. Um, remember the curve, and yeah, that's it. So we'll see you guys. Hope this video helped you guys out. Um, my name is Bugrizia. Uh Give me a like and follow my channel. Awesome. Thanks, guys.